guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. And we're back with another video. And this time, we're going to discuss the Champions League semi-finals. We've got two cracking games coming up this week in the UCL semi. So we're going to preview them. We're going to give a prediction. And let's get into it. So if you like the video, please do like and share the video. If you like the video in general, please subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And starting off, we've got Bayern Munich taking on Real Madrid. Oh boy, what a clash this is. Oh wow. Bayern on one hand, fighting for the Champions League. Real Madrid, Real Madrid in the UCL. They knocked out Manchester City. Probably the favourites to win this competition. So, Bayern Real, I think it's going to be an absolute cracker. Thomas Tuchel at one corner. Thomas Tuchel in knockout competitions. We've seen how they stifled Arsenal. And then we saw what Arsenal did to both Spurs and, of course, Chelsea uh, over the last week. So, a lot of credit has to go to Bayern. They were excellent against Arsenal, in my opinion. And Thomas Tuchel, he's going to set them up well in this game. I'm confident in that. I think they're going to make life difficult for Real Madrid. It's not going to be easy for Real Madrid. Uh, how do I expect the game to go? I think Bayern will look for more of the ball. They're, the they're playing the first leg at home. Uh, they will look to try and get some sort of advantage over Real Madrid. I think it's going to be a cracking atmosphere at the Allianz Arena. Uh, there's some question marks. Uh, is Musiala going to be fit to play this uh, game? He didn't play the weekend, I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, Tuchel, though, he knows this is his final chance to show the Bayern faithful that he's done a good job because he's definitely leaving the summer. So it will be a nice little parting gift for Bayern. Uh, Bayern, of course, fantastic team. They've got a lot of quality. You've got Neuer and Go, uh, Daniel Michel, you've got Kimmich, a uh, fantastic player at the back also. You've got a lot of quality and attack. You've got Harry Kane, game changers in that team. And Bayern, this is something they want to prove that they can go up against the big boys. I think it's going to be a really exciting tie. I think Real Madrid, now if you do talk about Real Madrid, they weren't the greatest against City, but they got the job done. And I think they could do something similar here against Bayern. Bayern, I think they're much, they do have that much more quality than I think a City do, like in terms of experience, in terms of heritage, in terms of those intangibles. Of course, City are a much better footballing team, in my humble opinion. But I think this is going to be a good watch, I think, this game. Uh, Real Madrid, of course, with the quality they got. you got Rodrigo, you got Vinicius, you got Bellingham, you got Valverde, you got Camavinga, you got Chouameni. That's an excellent team. Uh, still no Thibaut Courtois. There was talk about Thibaut Courtois returning for this game, but no, he's not going to be playing. Carlo Ancelotti, though, also a winner, also a fantastic manager in the UCL. And this is why we, want, we love the UCL. You get top teams going each other, at each other in crucial big games, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we love the UCL. Tuchel versus Ancelotti. That's going to be an absolute cracker. Uh, I think Bayern will dominate more, more the ball. Like I said, I think Real Madrid might be content uh, with letting Bayern have the ball. With the pacey players they've got, the uh, initials Rodrigo, who I think will be very dangerous against this Bayern team, I feel. Uh, Bayern will have to be in the top of their game. Of course, so will Real Madrid. Of course, in the UCL, there's a tangible... Luck factor as well. You've got to, got to now think about the luck factor. It's not easy. You just can't win the Champions League without luck. You need some sort of luck uh, in the UCL. I think Real Madrid are the prime example of it. I think people have said they're lucky. Uh, they are lucky. And I think I do believe that they are lucky a lot of times. But that luck is on their side. So that's an intangible as well for me. I think it's going to be a cracking game though. I think both teams, Lima Sané, had a very good game against Arsenal in both legs. I think let's see how you get on this match. Harry Kane up front, Musiala if he's fit, that's a strange dangerous attack that can create chances, Real Madrid of course said Vinicius and Rodrigo, that's a lot of quality there, uh, I don't know why I still feel Bayern, I think I feel Bayern at the moment, I think Thomas Tuchel, the way he's managing Bayern in the UCL, they feel picture perfect, do you feel like Bayern this time, do you feel like a team that could win the Champions League? Real Madrid of course very, very good and they're not at City, but I think they push their luck a lot, and I think uh, City missed a lot of chances. City had a lot of opportunities to close the game out, especially at the Bernabeu. They had the game. Should have done better managing it that way because they, I think they took the lead twice in that game. So I don't think Bayern are going to make the same mistakes. I think it's going to be Bayern Munich 1, Real Madrid 0. Moving over to the other game, and this is a very, very good game indeed. We already had this match in the group stages. Nobody would have thought at that time this would be a semi-final game, but it's what it is. Dortmund 
taking on Paris Saint-Germain. Dortmund knocking out Atletico Madrid. PSG knocking out Barcelona. Dortmund have been pretty shocking. I won't lie in the league. I think this weekend, if I get their fixtures, they got battered by Leipzig 4-1. So, uh, but due to that UCL, extra UCL spot, at the moment, they're still well placed to be in the Champions League next year. They're 12 points clear of Eintracht Frankfurt. So, they are pretty much going to be, of course, in the Champions League next year. But this is all they got to left. This is all they got left to play for. Dortmund against PSG. I think this is gonna be a good game. Uh, PSG also this weekend have won Ligue 1, so no real surprise. Luis Andri but Luis Enrique, I think, has done a very good job with that PSG team. Uh, he had a lot of influx. He hasn't even had his type of city midfielder, which is I think absolutely paramount to an Enrique team. I still think he's done well. He's adapted well. He showed good flexibility. Uh, they played well in the two matches. I saw them in the knockouts. They beat La Real convincingly, which is not an easy feat, in my opinion. Um, then, of course, they beat Barcelona. Of course, I think they pushed their luck in that one. But Dortmund PSG, Dortmund PSG. This game happened in the group stage. PSG won once. The other game was a draw. Uh, the way the two teams are playing, I think the favorite is PSG for me. I think PSG are big favorites for this match. Dortmund did really, really well. I won't give, I will give them that against Atletico Madrid. But I think PSG, the way PSG played against them, if you watch both of the games, I thought PSG created a lot of chances against them. Uh, I think PSG will call with Kylian Mbappe leaving this summer. Uh, he would probably want to make sure that his club or PSG do win a title, win the Champions League title. They're well and truly going to win the league. And that would be a great first season for Luis Enrique, who... A lot of people wrote off. I was very high on Enrique when he got the PSG job. I think he's going to do well. Uh, I think he's going to put a clear style in play. He's going to have a clear uh, team spirit. We've seen everything like that at PSG. So credit to Enrique on that front. But Dortmund, they do play a fast counter-attacking way. They can cause PSG, PSG problems. They've got some good players in their team. Brandt, you got... Malin on his day is a good player. You got Flugberg up front, who's a very good striker. He showed his prowess in that first leg, as in that second leg against Atletico Madrid. But I think PSG, the, what PSG will do that Atletico didn't, I think PSG will look to keep the ball, stifle off Dortmund, just kill Dortmund off, kill the crowd off. Because in that first leg, you cannot let the crowd get behind the Dortmund team. Dortmund is a very difficult place to go, as most teams have found out this year in Champions League. But I think PSG, they've got more than enough quality. You've got Zare Embry in the field, you've got Mbappe in attack, you've got Dembele in attack, you've got uh, Ramos in attack, you've got Vitinha at number 6, who've been very, very good, I think, uh, in defence. I think Donnarumma is the only real weak link in that PSG team. He's not really a ball playing goalkeeper, but with liability. I thought at times PSG have been weak from set pieces, but I think PSG are strong favourites. I think PSG, based on how they're playing, I think the confidence must be high uh, after... The success in the Champions League in the league has been the only lost one game. They are they are a team that's winning a lot, and they've been playing really well. I feel so. It's gone, not going to be easy for Dortmund. Uh, I still think Dortmund going to draw this game. I think the scene now in the Dunner Park will be bouncing. And in terms of, we'll be looking for a reaction after what happened at the weekend where they lost four one to Leipzig. Not a great look. So I'm excited for this one. I think it's going to be PSG will hold more of the ball. I think PSG will create more chances. But I think Dortmund are good enough to also get a goal from somewhere. And I think PSG at times have been a bit sluggish with the finishing. And I think that's why I'm going to go 1-1 in this match. Anyway, this was your first leg for the semi-finals. Champion League preview and predictions. If you like the video, please like and share the video. And if you like the video in general, please subscribe. Leave me please in the comments. And I hope to see you guys later for another video.